It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 20th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather very nice today, but much cooler air arrives tomorrow, and some of you might see a little frost on the ground early Thursday. And then Saturday, parts of the state could see severe thunderstorms as the weekend begins. So a lot to talk about. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country early this morning. Got a pretty sharp trough beginning to unfold across the high plain states in the upper Midwest. That'll be digging south over the next 24 hours. Temperatures early this morning are mostly in the 40s and 50s, although Aniana's got 38. Birmingham at 49, Tuscaloosa at 53. Look here, look at all those freeze warnings in effect for areas north and west of the state. This is for tonight, all the way from North Texas up into the southern Great Lakes. Check the severe weather possibilities for today and tonight. A marginal risk over parts of the Florida Peninsula. Tomorrow, a marginal risk from near Virginia Beach up toward New York City. And day three, which is Thursday. No severe thunderstorms expected across the country. But let's keep going. Let's look day four. This is Friday. We have a risk of severe storms west of the state. Be parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. And day five, which is Saturday, the Storm Prediction Center has defined a risk of severe storms for about the southern half of the state with that storm system coming in as the weekend begins. And we'll talk more about this situation in just a moment. Here's the rain for the U.S. for the next seven days. Pretty wet down here, and the bulk of this will be during the day Saturday. Rain amounts will likely be in the 1 to 2 inch range. That'll be a good soaker, but it's kind of a one-day event. We'll be back in dry air on Sunday. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06C run, valid today at 4. There's your trough digging down across the nation's heartland. Down below that, got a surface front pushing south. And how about some late April snow from Tulsa to St. Louis to Indianapolis? But for us, a nice day today, partially sunny with highs in the mid to upper 70s. So the cold front comes in here early tomorrow morning. This is 5 a.m. tomorrow, the high-res NAM. There could be a few sprinkles on the front over North Alabama, but not much. Most places won't see a drop. And then during the day tomorrow, sky becoming mostly sunny, breezy, and much cooler. Highs only in the 55 to 60 degree range. For the northern half of the state, we'll see a northwest wind of 15 to 25 miles an hour. Kind of a blustery day. Thursday, early in the day, we're going to be in the 30s over about the northern half of the state with frost. And it's possible some of the really cold pockets like Valleyhead, Black Creek could see a freeze briefly. Uh, but again, for most spots, mid to upper 30s with frost. Then during the day, the sky will be sunny. The high will be in the 60s. Friday, we'll call it partly sunny. We've got rain off to the west with that next system. And this is Saturday. Now, this is Saturday morning. It's 7 o'clock off the GFS, and it's got the surface low over central Mississippi. The European, at the same time, has the surface low closer to Little Rock, and that's more of a severe weather look. And, of course, the question is, will the air be sufficiently unstable for severe weather with all of this morning rain? Let's go to uh, 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. We'll stick with the European. It's got the surface low over the western tip of Kentucky. And again, that would be favorable for strong to severe storms if we can see any surface-based instability. And the European says we can. And obviously, the higher values down across the southern half of the state, and that's where SPC has that risk of severe storms, basically south of US 80. And this is the lightning flash density for Saturday afternoon, suggesting the better opportunity for the really heavy storms again over South Alabama. So statewide, it should be a good soaking with one to two inches of rain, the better chance of severe storms over South Alabama. And again, we can be much more specific as we get closer to Saturday. Uh, the high Saturday would be uh, in the 70s, and then Sunday, it's all gone. Sunday should be a beautiful day with highs in the mid-70s. We got race weekend at Talladega, so Saturday's going to be a challenge. Sunday looks great. Monday, we're dry and warm, the high close to 80, lots of sunshine. And this is Tuesday, a week from today. Big trough coming out of the Rockies. We'll have to watch that thing, kind of going negative tilt. Uh, we're still mostly dry. There could be a few showers creeping in here, but that might be a severe weather setup for parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and northeastern Texas a week from today. This is uh, the next day. This is Wednesday night, the 28th. 
middle of next week showing the system coming through. And again, it's way too early to be specific about that, but that could be a pretty dynamic system. And then uh, we'll go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 29th, big trough, and uh, the showers and storms are east of here at that point. This is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble between now and the 5th of May. The mean, around 3 inches. Temperatures, 77 today, 61 tomorrow for Birmingham. And again, for the city, the National Blend of Models is showing 39 on Thursday morning. But away from the city, many spots are going to be down in the mid-30s. And those colder pockets might touch freezing for just a little bit. And then by early next week, we'll be in the 80s. That's the way it works around here this time of the year. And the CPC outlook for April 27th through May 3rd, suggesting temperatures here could be a little above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms, and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, Be Prepared, Not Scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.